Good morning and welcome to the Circle of Love with Shakisha Etnis. Let me make sure you can see me. <clears throat> thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. First of all, I just have a testimony. As you know, I don't think I've ever shared this with you guys, but everybody has uh, a name for the days of the week. You know, some people say mirror, uh, uh, Marvelous Monday or uh, terrific Tuesday and different things, but I, God gave me a new one for Monday and it's Miracle Monday because guess what? I need a miracle and you should look forward to a miracle or a blessing each and every day of your life. But Miracle Monday is what he dropped in my spirit this morning. But Tuesday is Testimony Tuesday. Wednesday is Worship Wednesday. Thursday is Thankful Thursday, and Friday is Freedom Friday. Miracle Monday. Thank to no Testimony Tuesday. Worship Wednesday. Thankful Thursday. And Freedom Friday. Now, though it's Friday, I was not um obedient in doing this video. As you can see, my eyebrows are bushy. I look a hot mess, but you know what? whatever this morning i come to you to share a testimony with you and i know many wouldn't tell you this but i'm gonna tell you okay i'm at work i'm starving i am hungry i am hungry starving this was monday see this is th this was monday miracle monday it was monday now i'm cleaning out my purse you know, um, and the reason why I don't have any money is because I am believing God for me to be debt free this year before the year of 2016. So I had to make sacrifices with my check to be able to pay off debt that I accumulated years ago. And you have to make sacrifices in order for you to, you know, accomplish certain things that you're trying to accomplish in your life. So as for me, I'm broke, have no money, and I'm hungry. But God's word said that I shall supply all of your needs according to my riches and my glory, his riches and his glory. Okay. So with that being said, I'm cleaning out my purse. I'm real hungry. Went the whole day's work without eating. And I ran across a receipt. And usually, this is what I'm doing. I'm balling receipts up. And God said, pay attention to that receipt. When I looked at the receipt, it said, if you do a free, if you do a survey, you can get a free McChicken. Now, mind you, I don't even eat McDonald's. But when you're hungry, you don't care. You want something to eat. When I tell you I went online, I did that survey, wrote those numbers down, that confirmation number down, and sister ate that McChicken. Had a dollar and 38 cent in the bank. You don't hear what I'm saying to you. A dollar and 38 cent bought me a fry and I had a meal. So God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and his glory. Now let me go a little further. Okay, so yesterday, no Tuesday, no, 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 Saturday, I had deposit a $32 check. OK, and it didn't clear on Monday. So that's what I was expecting my check to clear, but it didn't clear on Monday. All right. So because uh, the because the uh, banks were closed, I wasn't aware of that. So now Tuesday is still having posted and I need gas money, but I have enough gas. But my son has to eat. But God provided. OK, but this is the, this is this is the blessing. When I tell you. On Wednesday, I'm down to E. Gas is on E. All right. And I got people I can call and ask, but I didn't want to. I wanted to trust God. That was my, that was what I, my goal was. I'm trusting you, God, because I know who my provider is. Do you understand what I'm saying? When I tell you, I woke up and the bank said I had my $32. I went I got $10 worth of gas, went to the ATM to get $20 out so I can give my son his money for lunch. When I tell you, when I got to the ATM and put $20, it said I would be $19 and something change overdrawn. I'm like, how? When I went on uh, annualcreditreport.com to get my credit report, 
it said that I had already had my free credit report. So Experian said that I could pay a dollar to get the report that I needed from them. Well, they charged me $21.95, okay? So I called them and they said on Thursday, they said on Wednesday that I should have the money three to five days. Now on Thursday, leaving work, my tank is on E. I cannot go get my son. I have to make a decision on what am I going to do? I'm getting in my car and God said, check your bank account. How about the $22 was in my bank account? All right. So I was able to put $10 in my tank, get, get to get my son and give him $10 for lunch. But with that being said, I get to him and he has a blessing. A monetary blessing. So my, my point is to come to you guys and say, trust the Lord. Trust the Lord. Trust the Lord because he is faithful. And when he's saying his word, he shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and his glory. That's exactly what he means. So this is my testimony, okay, on a Freedom Friday. I am free to share whatever it is that I want to share. I'm not ashamed because I know what God is doing in my life. I know who he is in my life and I know who I am in him. Amen. So from one heart to another, I want to thank you and I want to continue to lift you up and let you know that you can make it. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Hold on because God has a plan for you. Plans to prosper you and do you no harm. Plans for a hope in the future. Thank you for tuning in to the Circle of Love with Shakisha Ednis. Thanks and God bless.